So some time ago, popular Yugi tuber Simo started something called Master Duel Masochist, a challenge series in which a brand new account builds a deck out of five master packs, and with every win, you gain a new one as well as any bonus legacy packs to improve it. So we watched it and thought, this looks fun. Let's give it a shot. What is up, everybody? Toaster Corgi Gaming back here in Master Duel Masochist. It's been a while. Been a little bit of a while. We also got some news here. Uh, ow. Oh god, um, I, I, I already don't like what I'm seeing. <laughs> well, she hot, but that's totally unrelated. You could not be real. You are adorable, and I want you in my deck right now. What rarity are you? They don't say. Of course they don't. But yes, we are back with a new season... And, let's be honest, we have... It's been a while, and we did a lot of stuff. And when I say a lot of stuff, we did the entirety, almost the entirety of the, uh... What was it? The XC, the, uh, limited duel event? Or EX0 event, with a custom deck. And we... Had to make some changes to the deck, because we pulled some very good cards. If I can find them. But we pulled a Time Wizard of Tomorrow, which is not that great. An Amulet Dragon, which we will probably never use because I'm not touching Dark Magician unless I'm hitting him with a stick. We get a Torrential Tribute. Which I will put in. Uh, let's see. We haven't really modified the deck all that much. Or some other crazy pulls we got. Uh, we got two of these. Cosmic Tree, Irma Still. I have no clue how, because those 20 packs we were grinding for in the past for that special bundle, the Evil Twin bundle, yeah, it turns out I didn't read like every Yu-Gi-Oh! player ever, and we weren't allowed to use it, because those were not Master Packs. So we spent them on 20, Matt, two bundles of 10, and we actually got some crazy shite. Like, I'm talking... We got the Valance Fusion, which I'll probably never use. Uh, Dragoonity, the Supremacy Sun, Dark Arm Dragon. This will give people Vietnam flashbacks. I don't know if he's still good anymore. We got Destiny Hero Dogma, which I'm not going to use because I'm trying to not use heroes. We got another Kashtira Monster, Rise Heart, which is not bad, but it could be better. We got Dictator of D and Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Yeah. And the thing is, we can summon him. We can actually play this. We have a way to use it. But, I don't know if we should. Because we've been using reptiles for the longest time. We also pulled a Heavenly Zephyr Miradora. Which is a good hand trap. Our new boss monster primarily is now Behemoth, King of 100 Battles. Because, thanks to uh, a fellow Masochist player, Yugi Joe... Shout out to them. Check, go check them out in their Masochist series, because they've been doing a good job. This monster is unaffected by the effects of special summoned monsters if it's normal summoned, which only needs one tribute. So it is definitely a boss monster. What else do we get? We got a Danger Jackalope. We got a Fighting Flame Dragon and a Ultimate Flame Swordsman. Battle Wasp, Ballista the Armageddon, Simo would be frothing at the mouth for this, probably. Or our Queen Butterfly, Dan Dana, Danus? I'm, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, what else we got? Legendary Fisherman 3, which isn't bad if we have a water deck. World Legacy Monstrosity for level 9s. Beat Raptor. Dio, <laughs> Dio Super Quantal, Mech King, Blaster Magna. Try and say that three times fast. Fusion Deployment and Forbidden Droplet, which I don't remember if y'all know when we got that. But when we did, our face lit up like Christmas. Uh, Infinite Track Earth Slicer, Bloom Diva the Melodious Choir, which we could use if we build around it, and Vanity's Ruler, which is a bit risky. But yeah, that's what we're working with so far. 
and it's not that bad. Now we did get a fusion conscription, so we are allowed to use this one copy. Because the others came in a deck, so we can only use one copy of it for the moment. But we may try and... Like, this is still our standard deck, the Reptile Focus with Hand Traps. Uh, Granadora for getting life point gain to immediately exceed off into our King of Feral Imps or Maguska. A uh, shout out as well to uh, Yugi Joe for putting the idea of Exo Sisters into my mind because he uses it and it's actually the one he has is very good. It does the same thing. Cards cannot be cards destroyed by cannot be destroyed by the activated effects of special summon monsters or monster special summon from the graveyard. Holy crap! I can't talk today. We just did a tune extreme at the time of recording, so... And spending, like, an hour and, like, about an hour on one boss. Holy shit. It, 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 it hurts your head. But, not a bad card. It's not the strongest, but it's an out. We also got a Torrential Tribute, which is not bad. So we got a lot more options now. We're still incredibly screwed over. And... Harpy's Brother... I'm never calling it Sky Scout, okay? It was Harpy's brother, and then they changed it for the dumbest of reasons. But yeah. Let's get into the... We've wasted enough time here. Let's get into the duels, shall we? Now that White Forest has gotten in, are we going to see that first? Alright, what are we going to see first today? Centurion. I don't like that. Hmm. Okay, we may stand a chance. That caveat is very annoying, because it's any Centurion monster. Extra deck or non-extra deck, it doesn't matter. Because it's a monster being treated as a trap, I'm pretty sure that still protects it. If it doesn't, do let me know, because I don't really know. This is a definite going second, a going first hand we've got, but... And I did fix our episode list. Unfortunately, we spent like a month doing this off-camera. I'm afraid it didn't help us at all. Which we won't be do- going forward, we're not going to be doing that anymore. Doing it off-camera. We're not going to do that anymore. Because it feels like I'm cheating y'all out of the extra deck. And trust me, I haven't cheated. I have not crafted any cards. I have still suffered through everything. Yeah, that, that's... I'm just not gonna bother with that. I'm just not gonna bother with that. Just move on. Maybe next year. Maybe next year we'll start Season 2. Like, next month with the new year. Alright. I gotta remember how my deck works. Because during that uh, XC Zero event, no extra deck cards, and my Mind Drain and Light Imprisoning Mirror were both banned, so I couldn't use either one of those. It was a bit of a pain in the butt. Ash Blossom? Nope. Five twins. A Sprite. And a Call by the Grave, and a Maxi. Okay, add a sprite monster to hand, except sprite. You know what? We'll do it. 
We'll leave ourselves wide open, but worth a shot. Because they use their normal summon. We have Gleep next turn. Alright. We did it. Go right ahead. That ain't gonna stop me. Alright. Go to battle phase. Smack him in the face. Can't special summon anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now they're going to summon that monster they drew off of the right. Oh yeah, they got blue, carrot, red, where's, where's the Sprite Cranberry? But you got red, carrot, instead of orange. And blue. Pixie's Jet. Carrot, which is... Honestly, more red than than the actual red. Sprite Elf. Unfortunately, there's no caveat to either archetype to where you're locked into only them, like how Mayakashi works. Which is a darn shame, because that would actually power creep them a little bit. Now, we do have a uh, gigantic sprite. We do have one. We've got like 17 different builds. And a lot of them are not fully functional yet. Because it's still running like the same core package of monsters with some different attributes thrown in, or... Pipes. I don't know why they gave Live Twins alternate artworks. They're gonna go for the big monster, the uh, Link 4. Oh, they didn't. Which, theoretically, it would have been better if they did, because it would have been more damage, and they could just use it during my turn in order to bring back the other two. Vanish one. Vanish two. Vanish three. Four. Five. Bring out the Eater of Millions. Finish that. Yeah, we probably should have summoned it, the lizard draw, but oh well, that's what we get. <clears throat> then they'll just link away. Dark Honest would actually be very good for us. 
an EMP mask meow mine, which I don't know why this is real. Really don't know why. Just another play extender. Yeah, it's just linked to support for some reason. And then they go to Evil Twin, the other artwork. I'm pretty sure they have the most, uh, vi like the whole visual effects. I'm pretty sure they have the most because four, five. Yeah, I think they have six. Because you've got the one where it's just the two of them. Yeah, this, the Link 4, which makes 5, and then you've got the one where it's the two of them together. So they've got like six summoning animations in one archetype. Kind of crazy if you think about it. Oh well, next game. It's time to g g g g g g g Fucked. <laughs> Alright, this is a much better going first hand. Labyrinth! We had someone on stream yesterday talking about this. And we all hate Labyrinth. But Labyrinth and uh, Trap Trick, the first thing you do is just turbo out Jinzo. This works. Now, if we can make him trap immune, that would be great. Trap card. At low four lore, perform a power from deck to hand. Alright, baited the Ash Blossom. That's good. Now they get nothing in the hand. Set the Pendulum Scale. Maybe we could try Pendulum Deck. Because we have that link to Sobek. Sorcerer of Sobek or something. Oh, you poor fool! You thought? You thought? Pendulum Summon! Here goes nothing. Activate effect. Let's see if we can actually beat... Uh, I, was about to say, I was about to call him Trap Trick, if we could beat Labyrinth. Now, what did they put down? It was Welcome, Big Labyrinth, Big Welcome. Hand deck or graveyard, then return one monster you can hand. Alright, this. Errors of the Overroot. That should probably just negate the effect of me bringing back your monster. Nope, no it doesn't.
Please target my behemoth. Okay. Get out of here. I'm even stronger. Transaction rollback. That card I would love to see banned just because of its versatility. Well, just because it was destroyed, that's kind of annoying. Which, I'm sorry, monster effects should only apply when they're on the field. Like, how can it use its effect? Its effect isn't even in play because it doesn't exist as a monster yet. Like, that's the whole thing. Like, the monster doesn't technically exist. Like, that ruling, it's very weird. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Huh? Well, fuck. Well, we had a good run. But uh, due to... Play extensions and recursion, we lost. That's still annoying that it's like, oh yeah, you can you you don't need a tuner to summon this, because any material can be used as a tuner, and I'm like, how is that fair? Like that kind of breaks the rules of like the logic of a tuner. It's about as dumb of logic as super polymerization in the GX anime fusing Jaden and Ubel's souls. I'm like, that's not how that works. This is a card game, you idiot. Wait, whip out a 9 mil. Boom. Done. Yes, saying. And this archetype, which I have no clue how it works. And this archetype, which this card needs to be banned or eroded heavily. Now wait a minute, if wait hold on. If Horus Monsters well, they're not light attributes, so it doesn't really matter.
I'm sorry, this card needs to be errata to where it's only once or twice per turn, not up to four times. Screw it. They already used the effect. Oh yeah, they can't be destroyed by card. Well, that's game. Gotta love Horus. Alright, going first. Get three. And pass. Albeit, we probably could have played better with the Torrential Tributes, because it destroys all monsters. Wow, another Labyrinth. Now, I'm gonna just say no to that. Shadow Imprisoning Mirror would be very good, because they're all Dark types. And quick effect speed. This is why we need Jinzo in our deck. Not the best. We may just go next, because we're not going to win. The hand we've got, that's not happening. Because they're just going to combo off and just OTK us. Alright. Maybe a bot, if we're lucky. That. Activate Danger Jackalope. Get rid of Birdman. Fence mode. Draw one. Set. Pass. Let's banish the whole hand! Senpai! Ooh. With the Lightning Storm, Dark Hole, and the Field Spell, which for some reason the Field Spell is the only thing on a limited ban list. That's what I don't get. But everything else is totally fine but the Field Spell. Two Dark Holes, which is no longer limited. I remember it back in the day when it was on a ban list. I'm gonna just do that. Even though they could probably just combo off again and again, because it's Tempai. The fact that you'll see, like, master, like, high elo tiers, high ranking decks in uh, as low as Rookie and Bronze is just pathetic, to be honest. Not the best card to draw. 
We may have to change decks in the future. Just workbook this one a bit. Go with dragons instead. Pokey Draco, which was only made for this archetype. Yeah, I'm um, sorry, that's a no. It, it's Tempai. Only way to beat them is if you can turn one Dragon Capture Jar. That's it. Or Skill Drain. This is why I would like to have the choice to be set down to the beginning. Or... Like, one rank below, or choose to be set back to the beginning. Like, depending on the deck you played... ...throughout the season. Probably could have done that a little better. Activate. Destroy that. Draw. Not the best cards in hand, but... Raise the best we can do, to be honest. Like, bad hand luck. Oh, that was a bit of a waste. Question is, what are they playing? You can't see my cam. You can't see my face right now, but I'm making a very skeptical face. A conquer. Oh. Hmm. It's this archetype. Yeah, just because I don't want you having anything in the hand at all. In the hand, on the field. Destroyed on the field. Sorry, Drumarilla. Activate. Life hack? Cool artwork. That's some cool artwork of Cypress White Hat. Never seen this card before. Any damage your opponent takes this turn is halved. Okay, I have no clue how that card works or what that does. I'm gonna have to read that in my downtime. Target one face of monster on the field. Any damage your opponent takes this turn is halved. Also, that monster attack becomes equal to your opponent's current life points until the end of this turn. That's a weird card. Is there a way you could OTK with that? I don't know. Like, use a combination of that, Blue Eyes, Chaos Max, Mega Morph, and a card. Alright! That's a win. We will take. What were they playing? Two legacy packs, but what were they playing? That's the million dollar question. Double Kaiju, Triple Kaiju, Gear Free. Oh, they're playing Makanko! Alright, we beat Makanko's stupid ass.
I hate that archetype so much. You literally can't do anything against them. It's like you bell before you bell got reworked. But let's get right into the packs. Legacy pack, legacy pack, give me something or I give you a smack. Alright, Pyramid of Wonders and Berserking. Like two face up beast type monsters. Half its attack, the other gains its attack. Okay, that would be useful against if we had a certain strategy. That's good for our, um, well, we already have one, but that is okay with our Behemoth. I would like more Melfi cards, to be honest. Space Time Transcendence. Those dinos? And it's two more dinosaur monsters. Okay, yeah. And Destiny Mirage. I don't like Destiny heroes or any, hero any heroes, okay? They should have stayed separated. Alright, Master Pack. Please give us something better. Oh. Nothing. Alright. Boom! Cupid Serve. Unaffected by the activated effects of monsters, except monsters whose level is equal or lower than this card. Okay. You can banish up to three cards from the grave. It increases the card's level by that number until the end of this turn. You can only use this effect once per turn. Okay. Kind of interesting. Rocky Meru Boulder. Wow! You know, we do have some Fright Fur cards. Edge Imp Sabers and one or more Fluffles. We do have Fluffles, and I don't know if we have Sabers or not. But... We could check. Isn't this the one that you use to go for game? Bridge Fluffle and Fright for you control. Is this the one you use to go for game, or is that Tiger? Nope, it's Wolf. It's Wolf you use to go for game, I think. Is it Sabertooth? I don't know this archetype all that much. Is it Bear? I don't know. Let me know. If y'all know. Virtual Beast App. Ape Leo. Ape Leo. Ape Leo? Burning Abyss. Wow, Exchange of Despair and Hope. If you control three or more Earth Fairy monsters, which we don't have, send as many monsters from the field to the graveyard as possible, then each player can special summon monsters from their opponent's graveyard to their own field up to the number of monsters sent to the opponent's graveyard by this effect. <laughs> then if a monster was special summoned by this effect in exchange of the spirits in your graveyard, which it's not, because that's SR. Use your card, Infinity Wildcat, and Bad Luck Blast. Um! Don't control the damage equal to half its attack and inflict your opponent equal to the damage you took. So we could try and do this with a weird burn strategy. Because that's what we did during the EX0 event with Speed Burst Dragon. So it's an idea, but y'all gotta let me know. But in the meantime... No, we do not have Edge Imp Sabers. Oh boy. But we do have, um, what is it, um, thought we had it. Uh, yeah, we have the dark hex sealed fusion, the dark hex sealed fusion. Which can be correct. So. We could summon Fright for Sheep and Tiger. Because all they need are Fluffles. Hmm. I don't know. That may be an idea. I don't know. You'll have to let me know. But until then, I've been Toaster Corgi Gaming. And I'll see you all. If you like what you saw here, hit like and subscribe. Really means a lot to help the channel. And, and go check out Yugi Joe over on his channel. You will have to look for the VTube model. You will have to look for that because someone else has the same name and it gets confusing. But give us a like and subscribe to them too while you're down there. And I will see you all in the next one. Ciao.
Super. 